Hello everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin'. Uh, I've lost my voice again, so Barry White's back in, filling in for me. <laughs> you like to think so. I like to think Barry White would be in here. <laughs> so, let's see. I'm on here live. I'm trying to see if it's going to show me. Oh, there's Gene Shoot. Yep. Watching from North Dakota. So, welcome. I think we're getting... Hi, Kathy. Hi, Gene. Hi, Jackie. <laughs> So, hi Madison, thanks for sharing. Hi Marsha, how are you this evening? Um, there's France. Thank hi, you France. so much. So, um, so much going on in our life. There has not been a dull moment, has no. there? No, nope. the <laughs> job's going well. Yes. We've been having quite a few different things happening to us lately. So mm -hmm. let's start off with a few of the cards that I got. Some beautiful cards coming in. This was actually from my good friend Mary Jo. And she sent this. It's funny because she got this from um, a stamp pack that I sent her. This was one of my first stamp packs. So I love the sentiment that she did on that. That's so cute. That was from the last celebrations that we had at the beginning of the year. And then she stuck one of the little butterflies on there. How adorable. What do you Ooh, think? That is beautiful. I know. Okay, this is from Sherry Turner. She sent this in. Is this not stinking like cute? I like that. So I asked my team Delicious. to send Halloween cards and... I like how she used that bling paper that's oh. in the celebration with the little pumpkin. That's cute as can be. It so makes you kind of the Doppler effect. <laughs> <laughs> kind of does, right? Yeah. Then look at this one from France. This is from France. France is awesome. She did a mini slimline. Isn't that cute? I love the boo can in the center. A, can almost fit a candy bar in there. <laughs> Leave it to you to think of that. Think candy. <laughs> you betcha. And you then do. Mary Jo, this is our new um, Blackberry Beauty, I think is the name of it. The 12 by 12. She took the pumpkin. Look at oh this. My. She made a tower card. That is awesome. And you it's didn't show me that card. So thankful for you. You inspire me. <laughs> Anything is possible. And thank you kindly. Isn't that just adorable? Kind of like a centerpiece for uh, it is, Thanksgiving isn't it? Table. I have wanted to do one of these. I just haven't gotten around to it. I well, will... might have to case that one. <laughs> <laughs> May have to. I am. Um, I tend to be a simple stamper. I'll be quite honest. I mean, if I never had to do a fun fold, I probably wouldn't. I know some people just really love them. I gotta save these because those are for my downline meeting. So, before I get into the catalog, oh, let yeah. me pull this out. So, I wanted to let everyone know, because there was some confusion last week, there is not Piccadilly Parfait on Friday. Um, I'm suspending them for a while, so yeah. they're probably going to come back. We don't know. Bill's got to get through training at work, and we don't know exactly what our schedule is going to be. They'll probably come back, but they'll be come back a little bit more sporadic. I'm going to be doing some more stuff for my downline and for my VIPs in their group. Um, Piccadilly Perks, if you're new to me here tonight, I have a rewards program so that um, every letter is for $35 purchase per time. And once you get all 10 letters, you get a $25 shopping spree from me. But I'm also going to pay the shipping and the tax on that. So that's a pretty that's, good deal. Yeah, it's about a uh, buy 10, get one free type of thing. Um, this is just my little plug for my pearls. I don't know if you guys saw me today. I was making some cards. And I just wanted to let you guys know if you would like to make a little bit of money. Um, Stampin' Up! has a wonderful way of doing that. There's a lot of different supports that they offer. But right now, just signing up, even if you don't want to make money, you don't have to sell a thing. You can be your own best customer. You don't have to... Um, uh, recruit anyone you can just sign up for $99 you get $125 worth of product that you choose also 
you can get a bundle pack on top of it. And some of these are, you know, $55 or something. So you're looking about $170, $175 approximately for $99, which is a pretty good deal. Yeah. So this is a wonderful time to join. And this is only available through the end of the month. So Through celebration. Yes, so through September 30th. And then the last Ooh. thing is um, my celebration appreciation. So this is for my customers who place the $200 in retail orders, not your total order, but your retail order during August and September. And um, you're going to have things like Facebook Live exclusives, demonstrations, prizes, fun. It's just for you. That'll be scheduled October 23rd at 6.30 p.m. Uh, Central Time Zone. And you'll be invited to a special Facebook group. So, anything else that you can think of? No. Um, make sure you use the host code. Yeah. Um, Stampin' Up! has... Cracked down. Yeah, on host code. So, it really does help me out a lot. If you forget, um, I'm allowed a couple of goofs every month where I can call them, but they were getting inundated by calls. So, the more you can use the host code, code for me, that is a wonderful thing. So, I want to go on and show you what we're going to be using tonight. I want to use the Peaceful Cabin Bundle in the... Um, uh, mini catalog and then right now we have a bundle that um, goes from our mini catalog but it actually goes with the um, the peaceful deer bundle but I'm not going to be using that tonight I'm going to be using it with the peaceful cabin bundle so um, this is one of those ways that I'm showing you that even if you get something from celebration that you don't have the bundle for how you can maximize and make it um, part of a set so let me grab that you can use what you have and I want to pull out this paper so this paper is Kind of awesome when I first looked at it and it's so hard on those little bitty things but this is really pretty paper of course I love the um, the check and the plaid and you can see some of that check in here which this is the piece that we're I cut to use tonight Ooh, that's pretty isn't it pretty so it's got some plaid that's and deers. yeah the punch the deer punch actually punches out this deer mm. And not, <laughs> not that kind of punch. Oh, darn. <laughs> and it's got some deers here, some candy cane stripes. So it's definitely just basic Christmas paper that you can use even if you don't have the deer set. Although, got a couple of things coming up. You're going to want the deer set. Are we? Yeah, you are. So cool. let me get this out. If you purchase the Peaceful Cabin with the Cabin Dies, you save an extra 10%, which I always suggest doing that if you are at all possible to do that. Let me pull out my stuff. I'm going to have to use that twice. And my stamp pack. I'll hand that back to you. So I got kind of a, it's not time consuming. It's just, it's going to take me a minute because there's a lot of pieces. I got one extra here. I'm going to make more of these, so Ooh. put that back. I have a piece of garden green, and this is the card base. Are there any questions or anything? Nope. Janet says she just got her deer punch, so she can't wait to use Oh, Janet, I have... Her deer set, excuse me. I have set. something coming out that I think you'll love. Um, it. I guess it just depends if you like the traditional red and green, or if you like some vibrance. We'll get into that later. And then I have a piece of this um, Czech um, garden green. It's with the trees from that set. And I cut this exactly the same measurement. So this is four and a quarter, and there's a reason. There's four and a quarter by uh, five and a half. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put this I got a goober on the end. Goober? <laughs> That's what you are as a goober. I'm a goober. I'm not a goober. You're a goober. Well, I like the back of that paper, too. Oh, good, because we're going to be using that, too. Ooh. Yeah. So, when I first saw this set, 
For those who have followed me at for any length of time, you know that I love black, white, and a pop of color. So I saw this and I immediately fell in love with the ribbon. This is the gingham ribbon. Oh my gosh, it's black and white and it's so soft. It's so easy to work with. I have a couple things I'm doing with this here and a couple of my projects, but I wasn't, I like the cabin a lot. I wasn't sure because it comes with black and white paper. Don't fear. You can use whatever paper you want and I'm about to prove that to you. So I have, so when you cut this off, you are left with this piece of paper. And I have been known to toss these for the longest time. And then my friend France decorates every single one of her inside of her cards. My cousin uh, Kristen does the exact same thing. So I've decided that I'm no longer going to throw these. I'm going to make use of them. So this is cut at three by four and a half. And I'm, this is, oops, wrong one, wrong one. This is cut at four by five and a quarter, and I'm going to just stick this down here for the inside of my card because the inside of this is um, dark enough that it would be hard to see writing. So I'm just going to add this down at the bottom. And now I'm not wasting these pieces, and I'm learning from my downline about... Using scraps. Using the scraps. I'm all about it until I'm kind of a simple stamper. Recycle, recycle. Yeah. So thank you, you guys, who always do this. And then I'm just going to cut this off. And I suppose I could have cut this to four to begin with. That would have been so much easier. But we got time, right? Yeah. Okay, so then this will go on the inside of my card. And you can stamp any sentiment you want to on the inside. I think I do a lot of card fronts and then I don't show you guys, but really the best time to do this stuff is when you have the DSP out. And this is a great way to use up that DSP. Look at that, just that little bit of detail. Isn't that pretty? Okay, yeah. so now I'm going to set this aside. So now I've got, you're going to need two pieces of basic white, and they are cut at three and a half by four and a half inch, and you're going to need two. So I'm going to set one aside, and I'm going to take out this stamp. This is the cabin itself. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black. It's just my preferred choice. And I'm gonna ink it up. For this stamp set, you will need a, you're gonna see twice, an E-block. You're gonna need a larger block. What's going on? Nothing. They're mm. chatting. Okay, good. And I'm just gonna put this right up on here leaving space at the bottom. And Bill, this is where I'm probably going to need you. Don't rock it, but I am letting that transfer. Uh, isn't that gorgeous? Could you have used your uh, stamparatus? You could use your stamparatus, but I just didn't. It's Okay. I'm going to hand this to you for a minute. I'm going to need you to hand me the, um, yeah, the big boss there. The stamp and cut and boss machine. The big boss. So, I'm going to start with this. You do want to have your platform plate number two and then an acrylic down and then you'll sandwich this in between an acrylic and I'm going to need the dies. You want to hand, hand that to me? Sure. Thank you. I'll hand you that. So on this, what are you giggling about? Oh, Mary Ellen. <laughs> oh, 
So what I love about this, and I want to make sure I'm in camera because I'm going to go tape this, is there's a little cutout here. And when you look at the image, there's a cutout there, which is really cool because what I'm going to do is going to allow a tree to be showing in the background here. Well, that so, is kind of cool. It is cool. It, it cuts it out very nicely. You put washi tape on it then? I am going to. How did you know? Hmm. I don't know if I'm in camera, though, to clear down here, but... You're not clear down there, but you were up top. So, I'm going to place this on here with a little piece of washi tape just to hold it in play. And then I'm going to fit this on. That is so cool. It is really neat, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm going to hand this back to you. So, if you're new to me watching right now, be sure to say hello. Yep, tell us where you're from. And you're like us. Like, like us, us on Facebook. Like follow us, on us here. here. Or follow us on Facebook. Like us on YouTube and follow us there. So too. you see there's some little cutouts there too. And I was just a little bit off, but I did pretty good. So I'll save this because that's a sentiment or something for later. And I'll hand that back to you. So that cut that out. Now with that, this piece, I'm bringing this back in. So I know that this is going to line up here. And I did about halfway through. This is where I need to change halfway through course. I have, an, I have two more of these blocks and yet they're in project block. I, I have so many pro There's know. like nine project blocks. Oh, there's like know. 15. Well, okay. Last time I counted it was nine. <laughs> there's like 15. So well, I, I haven't been digging around in here lately. So I will try to get a videotape out for you guys since I'm not going to be doing the parfaits for a while. I'll try to get a video of another card because I have several that are really cute. So having this right on top there gives me an idea of where I want to stamp this background. So again, I'm going to do black because black and white is really on trend right now. You'll see it in home decor. and I like black and white with pops of color, but I usually like bright colors. Gracie's so, watching. Hi, oh, Gracie. Hi, Karen. So let's see. I'm going to go about there. That's so cool how you line that up. Yeah. I really, I did not realize how awesome this set was until you start playing with it. I have a couple of other really cool ideas, and I can't wait to see who wins tonight. Okay, Ooh, so. Oh, wow. Now when you put, whoops. Thanks, Bill. Sorry. I... <laughs> he dropped it right on my thumb. Okay, so now you can see the tree behind here. You can see them behind that. You can see those trees behind this, which I think is cool. I also, there was some tree dies that I cut out. There was this long one and this smaller one. Not the smallest, but there is a smaller one than this too. And I figured I could just take these and put them, mesh them right into this tree line here behind this. Well, that's kind of cool. Now, I don't want to glue that top down because you guys know how I like a little movement in my car. Flipper. So I'm just going to, flipper. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> that's the meds talking. I guess mind. so. <laughs> so I'm going to put one there and then I'm going to put this back up here. Look at that. That's Isn't that awesome. cute? And then let's have one kind of in this area. So, and this is probably not my, I want to look at that again. This is probably not my, um, I probably wouldn't do these in mass production. Like I've done, I've done several cards today in mass production. This probably wouldn't be my mass production card. So now when you put this on top, now you can do two things. You can glue it right down, which is what I'm going to do, or you can pop it up. I'm oh, kind of 3D it. Kind of 3D it, right. Wow. I'm going to glue it straight down because those who know me know that I don't like to pay any extra on postage if I can help it. Not these days. And also, I think it does the same effect. 
Um, it's a little different, but I've got these kind of snapped up. So, okay, so now I've created this little scene. Cuteness. And so I'm going to pull in a piece, and it's hard to see when you have, I need my graph paper, when you have, it's um, three and five eighths by four and five eighths. And this is the basic black, and I'm going to just mat this. Now this is, um, gives it like that one eighth inch border instead of a quarter inch border. It's like a one eighth inch border. So I chose that specifically because this doesn't give a whole lot. But the reason I chose it was because I felt like I wanted more of that DSP to show. And so there, with the black background, it's hard to get this even. And that green glue really allows me to even that up. I wish you could see this. I'm sure the camera does not do the justice. You can even see a little of this tree back here. So pretty. Okay. Again. Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. I totally forgot to stamp the image. So let's stamp the sentiment here. And let me make sure I've got it straight because I don't. So I need to turn it a little. Much better. And I'm going to... Looks bad. Is that Nick? It is. <laughs> Nick, I told you to go to bed. It's past your bedtime. It's like 1 a.m. where she is. She's in Ireland watching. Oh, shoot. It's a little crooked, but it's not bad, right? It's not too bad. Okay. I'm going to hand that to you. I'm going to come with this beautiful gingham ribbon. Now you can do, if this is a manly card, you can do a knot. If it is a... She says she's not tired. She's not tired. That's because she has a stamping addiction, let's face it. <laughs> yep. You have a stamping addiction, Nick. So. My name is Nick. I'm from Ireland. And I have a stamping addiction. I'm a stampaholic. Yep. You are a stampaholic. Okay. So I'm going to do a knot. The last one I did a bow, but I'm going to do a knot on this one so that we can have the two different. Uh, there we go. And actually, I think I prefer the knot. Believe it or not, I think I prefer the knot better. Okay, now since I want more of this DSP to show, if I pop this in the middle, you see it around, I need to be up more? You see it, but I want to give that, you know me, I like that being a little offset, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this right in the um, middle of the right hand side. Offset it. Mm. I am. He was coaching me. I needed to get my hands up. I was. You just say it. I don't want anyone to miss out on this. <laughs> Poor Bill. <laughs> We're struggling around here with some sickness. Okay. So, let me get that right in the center. Now, imagine I stamped that a little bit straighter. Than what it came off. All right. Now, this is that paper that you liked, Bill. Right here. Mm -hmm. And you said you liked the other side? I do. Well, so this is the this is what's left over. So while you got your envelopes out and you got the DSP out, this is the time. So since it was cut the way the trees are, I don't want to put it on that way, right? Haha, -ha, there's two sides to our paper. So I am going to glue this right here on the back of the envelope 
For those of you who hoard paper, it's enough time to stop hoarding your paper. Use it up because there's new paper to buy every season. So there's no point in hoarding it, right? And that's right. And right now, during celebration, you can get a special deal on paper. This paper in particular. Okay. So did I do that right? Let's see. I hope so. I hope so too. Oh good, I'll have a little extra that I can do something else with. And then just cut this. This is so cute. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, even though it doesn't have that buffalo check on it, it still definitely matches the card very beautifully. It still gives that illusion of, you know, winter. Oh, it's yeah. almost like snowflakes on there. Mm -hmm. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, here's the difference with the bow. And I, I have to say, when I look at this right at the moment, I, I almost like the better. knot better. I feel like that gives a little bit more of a log cabin rustic feel to it, but you know, to each their own. So if you are interested in joining my team, send me a message right here on Facebook. I'd be sure to answer your questions because it's not, it's not a gimmick. It's not a, a difficult thing. You can, you don't have to sell anything. You don't have to um, recruit anyone. If you'd like to purchase any of these items that you saw tonight, I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I do have a store. You can browse my store right now if you just hit the Shop Now button at the top of this Facebook page. Um, if you're watching this later on on YouTube, you will find it in the description section of um, the video. And what else, Bill? Make sure they use that host code. Oh, yep. Bill's pushing the host code tonight. And um, be sure to follow us on Facebook if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. And um, we go for a drawing now. So the way you get into our drawing... Last week was my record amount, you guys. I really appreciate the shares. I couldn't believe it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for sharing this to your wall. Um, if you share this video tonight to your wall, then next week, and be sure to tell me in the um, the comments. comments that you shared it because sometimes Facebook doesn't always show me who shares and I will um, put your name into the drawing and then you can um, look for next week's. I will be back next week at 7 o'clock central time so Nick, go to bed. <laughs> Alright. Drawing names. Woohoo! Got two of them. Okay. What do you got? Vicky... Oh, my handwriting sucks. Vicki Schreiber. So, Vicki, you're brand new to me. And if you are watching this video tonight, please send me a message right here on Facebook with your address so that I know um, where to send this to you. And if you don't have a demonstrator and would like me to be your demonstrator, I'd be more than happy to just send you a catalog on top and of it. And we got a repeat winner, Glenda. Oh, Glenda Smithard. So you won tonight also. So thank you guys so much. Um, I will get that into the mail for you, Glenda. And you guys have a great evening. And I will see you next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.